not everybody has to be a full-time pastor. But the one thing that's important is to know that the Holy Spirit always, always calls his children to study to show themselves approved. And so just that call and that draw in somebody's life, God is calling us to study and to know the Word of God. Now, a person can study on their own as well, um, but the, the, the Bible college offers a structured setting and a format that gives the student uh, gives the student the reality and, and the measurement that they are moving forward in what they're learning. And, and that's exciting to a student. Um, but, but on the other side of that, just because you don't want a degree today, just because you don't feel the need for it, doesn't mean that you won't have that hit you 10 years down the road. And the other thing is that when, if you just take a driver's license, for example, a driver's license is a man-made achievement. And people say that about degrees. It's a man-made achievement. I don't need that in my life. Well, that's true. God can use people. But you look at a driver's license. It's a man-made achievement. Does it not open many doors for you in your life? A degree is the same way. When it comes to Christian ministry and serving God, you don't know. You do not know the value of that degree until you're down the road and you wish to God that you had gotten it. So the potential for your life, don't limit it by thinking that way. Understand it, just like Paul. Paul in the Acts 19 came to a place where he needed his Roman citizenship. He needed that, that man-made thing, but he needed it, and God used it to further Paul and his plan for his life to take him to Rome and complete the ministry in Paul's life. There's a completion in everybody's life that needs to happen, and it, and it may happen by this way. Don't Students should not shortchange themselves. By, th- by going to say, I don't need a degree, therefore I'm never going to pursue one.